Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Love for Haitian Food. Today I'm going to show you how to make pepatat, which is sweet potato bread pudding. Since Valentine's Day is coming up, I put a little heartfelt twist to it. So ladies and gents, if you have a valentine, make this sweet treat for them. Damn it, even if you don't have a valentine, make it for yourself. If you want to learn how, stay tuned. To make pan pata, you will need grated white sweet potato, mashed banana, sweetened condensed milk, raisins, coconut milk, softened butter, clove powder, nutmeg, salt, cinnamon, vanilla extract, grated ginger, lime zest. If you're not familiar with what white sweet potato looks like, this is it. This is what you're gonna look for when you're buying it at the grocery store. See, it has, it has a sticker on it that says batata. That's what they call it. And the inside of it is white, like so. Some tools you will need, a baking dish, an offset spatula, and a heart-shaped cookie cutter. First thing you want to do is add your sweet potato and your mashed banana to a bowl and mix. Next, add your coconut milk and continue mixing it well. Add your lime zest and grated ginger. Add your sweetened condensed milk and continue mixing. Add your spices and mix. Add your butter and vanilla extract and mix. Make sure you mix that butter in well. Since it's softened, it shouldn't be hard to do that. And it doesn't really matter because we're about to put this on the stove and it's gonna melt. So I have my pot on a medium flame. And now I'm gonna add my mixture to the pot. At this point, you wanna taste it and make sure it's your desired sweetness. I'm going to add some light brown sugar. So I have the sweet potato mixture on a medium to high flame. And you want to cook this until it is noticeably brown or browner. And you need to stir it continuously. Now I'm going to add the raisins and I'm adding the raisins at the last five minutes of the 25 minutes that this has been on the stove cooking and we're going to mix this in well, mix it very well. And I'm gonna cover this. Okay, so this is all done. 
and now I am ready to move to the next step. I'm gonna oil my baking dish with some coconut oil. I figure since we put coconut milk in it, we could use coconut oil to bake it with. Um, I'm gonna use my brush and I am going to distribute the coconut oil in the baking dish. Try to get up the sides. Just make sure it is well coated. Well coated. I may have put a little too much. So make sure you put less than this, okay? Maybe a teaspoon of oil. That would have been better. So I'm gonna put the pepper that mixture in the baking dish. Now I'm gonna take the spatula and I'm going to smooth it out. Try to make it as even as possible. Okay, this is looking good. And now I'm just gonna put this in the oven. I just took this out of the oven. It was in there for about 35 to 45 minutes. And now I'm just going to put this in the freezer so it can cool down a little bit. So I just took this out the freezer and now I'm going to cut my hearts out. So this is what I have already. I have some hearts cut out and I'm gonna show you how I did that. So I wanna get a good spot in the pan and I'm gonna press my cookie cutter down and give it a little jiggle to release it from the rest. And if it's not releasing, I'm gonna use a knife and I'm gonna go around it and remove any excess pudding. Cause that's what this is, it's sweet potato pudding. Pen pot that. And I'm going around it to release it. Now that I'm confident that it's released, I'm going to use my offset spatula to lift it up. And then I could take the cookie cutter off. And voila, we have a heart. And I've been flipping them around. So instead of putting it this way, I'm putting it this way. Please don't throw out the scraps. Just eat them like I did. I think these came out so pretty and I thought it would be prettier if I dusted them with powdered sugar. And I was right. If this is not food porn, I don't know what is. It looks so yummy. I served mine with vanilla ice cream and red sugar sprinkles. Time to taste. I'm gonna dig into the pepa that first. Mm hmm. Mm. That complements it really good. The ice cream complements the pepper that really well. Mm. 
L'air bon, pas dit le bon, lui bon. Hmm. Really is good though. Hope you guys try and like this recipe. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Like us on Facebook. Full recipe can be found at our website, loveforhaitianfood.com. Subscribe to our channel and click here to watch our previous video. Music is My Wife by King Flunts. Thank you for watching. Bye. This is what's left over in the pan and I am going to eat this. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Delicious. Mm. Wow. That's good.